My main role with the team is everything off ice on a side of fitness, conditioning, strengthening, power. It's making sure that they have what they need to be able to compete at this level. I like to have them come in as they arrive to the rink, so there's usually two buses. This allows us to get a little more use out of the limited equipment that we have on the road. So toes back, because all you're gonna do here is just curl it right to your butt. Get a little more stability, a little more, a little more activation through the core. Let's make sure we're really rotating through that hip as we punch out, yeah. Keep it tight to the body. There it is. The goal of today's workout was to get a little bit of tension in through the upper body. I'm focusing on some rotational strength. Uh, nothing crazy. We played last night, we play tomorrow. In the sense of what we do off ice, it's just microdosing a little bit of strength to keep that process going, uh, even on a practice day. Overhead lunge, we got out in the hallway. We'll come down on that same side, just opening up that chain. Down, try not to heel tap. Yeah, exactly. Most of my focus on game day on the lifting side is post. My philosophy is pretty simple post, is, is try to get some tension in, a lot of weight, but uh, double leg safe movements. Today, on a practice day, I like to get a little more single leg, a little more rotational, um, and a little more, you know, call it functional strength. Good. Okay, so just make sure we're rotating off that hip, getting that glute involved on that backside. Load up on this side, then rotate, press. Right, and then you can utilize that back leg, yes, and that back hip, excellent. Fortunately, we don't really have to pack that much more, um, whether it's a one game or a five game road trip. Sometimes it depends on the, the personnel that we're bringing. If we have a, an injured player that we're coming with that might need something special, I'll put that in our, in our trunk. But other than that, the visiting team provides us with everything we need. There's a visiting team cart that has the same at every NHL city. The only thing that really differs is the space that is available. You don't have to come up all the way, even if you just stay low and come through. Like yeah. The cart was designed now probably eight, ten years ago, and it's just kept growing. So every year we meet as a, as a strength conditioning group, SCAF, and we talk about things we need, and then how can we build out that cart so that we can better serve our players. boy, right there. Excellent. Sometimes you have a great uh, Costco-style uh, area like this, and then others, you're, you're literally in a box and all it does is house the workout equipment and you basically have to find a hallway or, or in the locker room to really try to get your work done. So it, it really is uh, city dependent. We have uh, two ATs that travel with us. We have a performance therapist that travels with us, a massage therapist and a sports scientist that travels with us. You know, it's maximizing recovery. You know, we don't have a lot of time on the road, which kind of sounds crazy, but when you're coming in from city to city, we try to do what we can to maximize our recovery in, in a timely matter that works for the players. So whether that be at the hotel or coming to the game um, a little earlier. This is gonna be a Will Lockwood day here. It's a, a lot of shoulder stability shoulder, here. Right? Yeah, a lot of shoulder stability here. They all have a goal in mind. They wanna be the best that they can be. But it, it's the relationships that you build with these individuals on a daily basis and to see how they grow. And, and today was a great example of that. Um, I've only been with the team a few short months and I can already feel that the relationships are, are kind of building and growing and I, that's why I do it. <laughs>